Hello, and welcome to the first October spooktacular <sighs> These are real. <sighs> Halloween is one of my favorite times of the year when all of the ghouls and the goblins and the spookies come out to play. Uh, I like dark things. I like horror. Um, T much to my friend's dismay, I tend to lean towards the gory or the better. Um, I don't really get into scary books, however. It's very hard for me to be spooked or terrified or frightened or scared when it comes to scary reading. So I generally don't typically read the scary, scary, scary books. Because it's like, eh, I'm going to be let down. This is going to be a total cheesy eh, book. So I'm challenging myself this October to read nothing but potentially scary and terrifying books. I'm on my third book, I believe, of October, and um, I've read a couple of good ones. So I'm just going to pick and choose the ones this month that really spoke to me to review. So let's get started with my first spooky Halloween read. <sighs> and that one was... The Dead House by Don Kurtagic. 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 I was hesitant to read this book because it is written in a strange format. We talked about this in my last video. It's um, interview notes between detectives and uh, psychologists and psychiatrists and video footage and diary entries and things like that, uh, post-it notes to people. It reads a lot like how the Blair Witch Project played and um, Cloverfield and those types of movies where you are behind the camera just seeing the footage, reading the notes, hearing the documents, and the objective of this is a who done it, what happened, what was the big event at the end that was so tragic and devastating, and it's about a girl named Carly and her sister, we we'll call her sister, I believe her name was Kaylee, Caitlin. I've read a couple books since then. So as you can see here, Carly gets the day and Caitlin has the night. And the general perspective throughout this book is journal entries from the dark sister, the, the nighttime girl, Caitlin, and her dealing with the fact that Something is brewing, something dark is happening, something is definitely wrong and off. And for the darker half to feel that and, and, and know that something's happening, it's kind of creepy. It is, it is absolutely terrifying, this dual personas. I don't mean terrifying like this, oh my god, I gotta throw it down. It's just psychologically thrilling. And I absolutely adored this book, which was surprising to me. I thought this was going to end up on my did not finish list. And I was so happy when I devoured it in two, maybe three sittings. And that's working full time plus having a family to take care of. So this was really good. If you're looking for a good October read this month, that's normally not something you would pick up. Like I said, this was written in a strange format. I've never read something in this genre? I don't even know what you would call it. Um, Delves into a little bit of witchcraft, demons, spookology, psychology, and you never really know what's real and what's not real. Like I said, it's all through perspective of the alternate ego of a young girl going through some trying times. So definitely pick up The Dead House Don Kurtagic. Really good read. I really did end up liking the format, and I'm looking forward to seeing more works from her. Maybe not necessarily in this format, because I want to see what else she can do with her writing. Because if this was this good, damn it, cat, stop that. I would love to see what else she's got going on. So, this was our first spectacular video of October 2015. Uh, uh, uh. And I can't wait to do some more spooky videos with you. And what are some scary reads that you have read or are planning on reading this month? Please let me know. Post it down below. Give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, like, all that fun stuff because I want to hear your input. I want your feedback. 
Well, I'm going to dive into The Haunting of Sunshine Girl. Today is my day off, and I'm super excited. I'm probably going to bust it out. It's not a very long read at all. And I'll likely do a YouTube video on that book as well, as it's based on a YouTube channel, which I really want to check out and watch those. So we will deal with that when I'm through with The Haunting of the Sunshine Girl. Why am I doing that? I'm a horrible Dracula. Except these. Until that time comes, keep on reading in. Cheers.